Hello, everybody. Andrea Majewski here with Dental L. So what if you became a dental hygienist, you graduated, and then the pandemic happened? So I remember graduating from my dental hygiene program being so excited. And you know what happened to me when I moved back? Um, basically, I was supposed to start work on Monday because I did have a job waiting for me, which was fantastic. Um, I worked for the same office where I was a dental assistant. So I had a job waiting for me and we had a snowstorm, but like the biggest snowstorm where the city was shut down, like city buses weren't running. Okay. The snow was crazy. So for three days I couldn't work and I was so excited. But if you were a dental hygienist and you graduated during the pandemic, you couldn't work for what was it? Three months, depending on the location, it might've been longer. So you would have been very disappointed. So you're probably trying to come back into things and things are different since the pandemic. Um, you know, with the PPE patients, you have to see more patients just trying to catch up. Everything's different, but you guys, let me give you kind of a crash course on what to expect. Okay. So a new dental hygienist. So let's just say you've gone for the interviews, all of that, and you have a job. Um, well, no, I guess I should start from the going for the interview process. Okay, so let's do that. So you're going for interviews. Um, let me tell you, people are looking for dental hygienists. As long as you don't mess up the interview and say you hate dental hygiene and you hate patients and you hate people, you're going to get the job. Seriously. Um, show up to your interview, dress professional, don't have your tank top on, jeans on, wear nice pants, a nice dress, you know, or nice pants, a nice shirt, and you will look professional, okay? That is a really good first step. Act like you are willing to learn, um, you know, act like you can't wait to get started and you're looking for a job. Um, people typically ask me, well, what do I say when they ask? Well, you don't have experience. Why should we hire you? Let them know. Say you are moldable. You will do what they tell you because you have nothing to compare it to and you're excited to work and you have seen many many patients you know what to do you've done it in school you're just ready to get started that will really go a long way so now fast forward you have the job it's your first day first week whatever there should be somebody there showing you around so showing you where your room is your charts where things are but they won't have a lot of time. So it's not like other jobs where you go in and the first week or two is just training. No, we don't really have that. Just so you know, you will walk in and they will show you for a half an hour everything and then it's your turn. You have to do it. Okay. So I know you're going to be nervous. I know it's overwhelming, but fake it until you make it. Okay. Act like you belong there. Act like you're confident when you go out there to find your patient, you know, call their name in confidence. Okay. Don't be like, uh, what do I do? You know, how do I get my patient? You know, what do I do? Have confidence. If you need help, you guys, let me know. I, I do have a course that I'm going to leave the link for you guys down below. It's called Dental LRDH, where I offer help for newly graduated dental hygienists. I have videos, all kinds of things to help you guys with what to expect. Step one, step 100, you will be fully prepared. Okay, so take a look. Look at the link, check it out. You will be prepared. I will prepare you. Anyways, moving on. So act confident. I suggest checking out all of your charts at the beginning of the day before you get started. So that way, if you get behind, you probably will be because it's your first day, first week. They won't expect you to be on time. You're going to get behind, but you don't have to get more behind when you have to pick up a chart and be like, okay, what's going on for this patient? You will already be prepared. You know, take notes. Is it their six month recare? Is it their six month scale appointment? Do they need a check by the dentist? Do they not need a check by the dentist? Did they have any cavities at their last visit? 
Um, are there any watch areas? Do you have to take x-rays? Look at all of that inside the chart before you get started, before you seat the patient if possible. And act like you know what you're doing. When you bring the patient back, have them have a seat and say to them, hello, so you are in for a cleaning and checkup today or whatever they're in for. My name's Andrea, so nice to meet you. I don't think I've seen you before. Do you have any questions, any tooth concerns? That really, you know, you act like you know what you're doing, not having them sit down and go, hi, how are you? So we're going to do your cleaning today. You know, it doesn't sound like you know what you're doing, right? So look at all that before you get started. I do offer full health inside the course if you need help. So then please don't worry if you're behind. They don't expect you to be perfect. Don't worry if you don't get every little bit of plaque, every little bit of tartar off. The secret is the polishing gets most of the plaque off. So what I do is I scale first and really focus on that tartar. And then after all of that, I polish and that gets a lot of it off too. Polishing doesn't get tartar off, but it gets plaque off. So don't kill yourself trying to get that sticky plaque off. Sometimes it's harder than tartar, I'm telling you. Um, plus, if you can, use your Cavitron or Piezo ultrasonic scalers first. That does the hard work for you. If your office has it, if your patient's okay with it, I kind of help you guys and walk you through that as well. So, and then the next step is, are you expected to sign the patient out? Are you expected to book their next appointment? Who does it? Is it you? Is it the receptionist? Things to ask at the beginning. Take notes, you know. Ask questions um, at the beginning, at the end of the day, you know, things like that. Um, but they won't expect you to be perfect, don't you worry. Don't expect to be done on time either. So let's say you're making plans after work, it's your first day, you're excited, you're done work at five. Don't expect to be done at five. Don't even expect to be done at six. I could be wrong, but let's just say you're half an hour behind. So then you're done at 6.30, but then you have to tidy up you might want to talk to the office manager. You might want to talk to the dentist who hired you. You might want to talk to a dental assistant who has time to talk. You might have questions. So don't expect to be out of there right on time. Um, don't Just don't expect that because then you're going to think, oh, what did I do wrong? I'm like an hour behind. What's going on? Don't worry, you guys. And don't be afraid to ask for help either. Every office is different, but sometimes there are dental hygienists hanging around, even dental you know, assistants, dental hygienists. They know you're new. They know you're stressed out. If they can help you, they will. If the office is really busy, they might not be able to help you honestly, even if they want to. So keep that in mind too. If nobody's helping you, it's not because they don't want to. They might not think you need help. If you're doing such a good job, you're a pro, they might not think you need help. So something to keep in mind. Um, that's just kind of the overall ballpark. What I suggest doing at the end of the day is if the dentist is still there, the office manager, whoever, I suggest asking them, say, you know, thank you so much. That was a great first day. Is there anything I can improve on that you noticed? I feel like I still have a lot to improve on. I was behind. I was getting kind of a feel for the office, but how do you feel I did? I would love to know. Don't be afraid to ask that. That shows initiative. That's fantastic. They'll probably say to you, hey, you did pretty good. You're new. We weren't expecting that. Always have a smile on your face. Act positive. Don't act stressed out. Um, and you'll be fine, you guys. I'm here to help. I'm here to help. So I have the course link down below for you. It's called Dental LRDH, where I offer help on every little step. I offer chart um, help on how to stay on time. I offer help with your chart notes. I offer help with organizing your trays, all of that, taking x-rays, how to talk to patients, how to talk to difficult patients, how to talk to patients who don't shut up and you know, you're 20 minutes behind and they want to tell you all about their weekend. I help you guys with all of that because I have 16 years experience. I wouldn't expect you guys to know any of that. So let me help you. And guess what? I love dental. This is my job. I love it. So I'm the one to learn from. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. Please click like if you haven't already. It really helps my channel. Make sure to click subscribe because I do upload new videos often. And thanks again, you guys. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye for now.